Any con. It's still any con. It's anytime, anywhere. It's any con. Okay, so we're still back here. Good morning, any con. Actually, it's afternoon, and we're almost done, and we get to go home. Uh, Glenn came to join us because he decided to take the plunge and play the deadly, often injurious, malodorous, and long-suffering hacker movie trivia. Bring the, it on. The game where no one actually wins. Except you, the viewer, who get to watch watch him squirm. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So uh, earlier today, they were letting me hit people with a hammer if they lost, but they made me stop doing that because the lawyers called. But uh, so so now you just get to win some glassware if you win, and uh, if you don't win, you probably get glassware anyway. So because we don't want to take it home with us. All right. I okay. You ready? That. Are you ready? Feeling? Lucky? I'm ready. Bring okay. it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. First question is this an easy one? Just so a warm up question, just so you don't pull anything later. It could be really ugly. Um, don't ask me what what shoe size uh, Angelina Jolie had. So oh come on, that was my favorite question. Oh, like, what is okay. Angelina Jolie's shoe size? And uh, yeah. All right, we won't ask that question. Okay. How about an easy one then? Shall right. we play a game? It's on the shot glass even. That would be from War Games. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yay, that's yeah, good. That and and I've been asking computer. everybody this one because I get to do the accent, so are Shall you ready? Shall we play right. a game? <laughs> this, this one is No More Secrets, Marty. No More Secrets. No More Secrets, It's Marty. not Back to the Future either. No, no, it is not. And that's... it's not Judge Dredd. <laughs> Let's see now. Hold on. I can almost think of that one. That one's Sneakers, isn't it? It is Sneakers. Yes. You know who the actor was? I don't remember who the actor ben was. Ben Kingsley, but Academy Award-winning actor. But I will, t I will actually throw a, a, an interesting trivium to you. The, okay. The, uh, the newscaster who was on the television at the end of the show was from this area right here. Oh, really? In the Albany area. He used to cast for Channel 6. Oh, wow. Ernie How about Tatro. that? Well, they just like, what, rounded him up and said, hey, will you be on? Or hey, he, he was retired. He's like stock. Oh, he's retired. Yeah, so you're doing yeah. it for free. Yeah. I'm always volunteering to do stuff on films, but they just they never call. <laughs> you know, or they call with stuff you don't want to do. And they're like, somebody needs to fall down the stairs. You, you up for that? And just, <laughs> yeah, it's no. Like, you're going to get hit with this like board, and then you're going to fall down the stairs. And yeah, so Let me think about that They keep trying second. to get me to do that uh, stuff no. at Security Weekly, too. Paul's like, somebody needs to come in and do a prat fall on this nail-studded board. So like, why don't it be you? Um, okay. No. Uh, how about this one? He fights for the users. He fights for the users. He fights for the users. Oh my word! I am afraid I have to take a pass on that one. Yeah, I do. Some this is this one's a 50-50 one. Some people don't know. No, it's from Tron. It is from Tron. Yeah, it is from okay. Tron. Yeah. I should have known that one. A big clue. Anything that sounds sanctimonious is probably from Tron. You know, <laughs> I'll like, remember that. He's fighting for we'll what's right. A, you know, we'll call that a hint. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. maybe I don't know. Tron can be all over the place. Yeah. Um, how about hack the planet? That is definitely from hackers. Yeah, I think everybody gets that question. That that that's kind of a giveaway question, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little too easy. Uh, this one's hard though. So this this is a hard question. Um, no one leaves the house anymore. No one has sex. The net is the ultimate condom. Hmm. No one leaves the house anymore. Nope. I think I have to take a pass on that one as well. That one, well, there's several acceptable answers to this. Okay. Uh, one is Judge Dredd, okay. uh, which it's not. Uh, but somebody said that earlier and just amused me to no end, so I've been repeating it over and over oh, again. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I was um, going to say Judge Dredd. It Dredd sounds like Judge Dredd. Yeah, it, it really does. Yeah. When they said that, I hadn't thought about. it. I was like, oh, that does sound like Judge Dredd. Yeah, but it's not. No, it's not. Uh, the other acceptable answer was uh, the Net is not a hacker movie. Uh, but it is from the movie The Net with it Sandra Bullock. So, okay. yeah, it's from that, that thing, if we want to call it that. So we'll okay. call it a movie or something. I don't think I've seen that film since uh, roughly when it came out. Yeah, I, I saw it once, and that was it. Yeah, ago, so that one's like, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a safe bet. If you don't know the answer, you can say sure. The Net. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about this one? Spandex, it's a privilege, not a right. Oh, yes. That, uh, that line was spoken by none other man than Emmanuel Goldstein in Hackers. Wow. Serial you killer. You do know that movie. I yeah, do know I'll that movie. Well, we'll, we'll switch. We'll do some true-false questions about that one. Uh, I'll give you one more, and we'll do true-false questions. All right. Um, this, this one's been another hit-or-miss one, so let's see if you get this one. Kay. I have been told that the best crackers in the world can do this in under 60 minutes, but unfortunately, I need someone who can do this in under 60 seconds. That's not swordfish, is it? It is. He's, uh, some, people, <laughs> some people nail that one. Yeah, if you think about it, because that's like a big scene in the movie that yes, really bothered is. me a lot. Where they presented I thought him with that. that it was like, really I not only big need you to do this in 60 seconds, I'm going to put a gun to your head. So if you yeah. don't do it, I'm going to shoot you. So, as if there weren't enough stress here already, 
I'm going to try to make it worse and less likely that you'll complete the task. So yeah, you know, so it's, it's about where they presented him with that workstation that looked right. more like a work of art than a yeah, an actual exactly. Workstation. So yeah. it was very much a mock-up. I don't like that movie either. Let, let's do some. We'll do some true falses from uh, hackers. These are all from hackers. Okay. Uh, so they're, they're just true false questions. So um, how about this one? All of the books identified by Dade at the club were real manuals, some of which had been published by the DOD. I believe that is true. I believe you are right, because I remember that scene, and yeah, I was looking, mm -hmm. and I, I remember trying to freeze my VHS uh, player so I could see what the title, because that's something I love to do, is look at what's on the shelves. Yes, except for scenes. that one big ugly book that doesn't fit on any shelf. <laughs> exactly. Um, how about this one? The film's writer, director, and some cast members attended the New York City Alt-2600 meeting in Rollerblades to observe and talk with real-life hackers. I believe that one to be true as well. That one, unfortunately, is sort of true. It's sort of true. They weren't wearing rollerblades. Ah, Yeah, okay. Paul right. threw you a trick question just okay. to ruin your whole record. Fair enough. Actually, you've done so well at this. I'm going to rule that you have successfully won. Neat. I think you have earned it. So... Congratulations. Thanks for coming by and playing Hacker Movie Trivia on Security Weekly. All right. Uh, we'll see you out there. All right. Thank you okay. much. Bye-bye.